Welcome to our third annual Map Connections Theater Show. First, a few thank yous. We'd like to thank um, Baxter Dillon and uh, Donald Rainey for uh, their extreme generosity in helping bring this unique outreach to life. We'd like to thank Leanne Bowles Riggleman and for her financial wizardry and uh, Tanner Clark, uh, Dan Harrison, the technical wizard that he is, and his team. Uh, I'd personally like to thank uh, Maddie Night Live and my Connection Theater staff. Uh, these, this is all student driven. They, they, these students write this, they produce it. All of this is students writing stuff for students. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's such a privilege to uh, get to interact and spend time with these students. Uh, and so now, I guess it's time for the Twilight Zone. Thank you. They're my crayons, and I will do with them as I wish. Yeah! Who are you? Um, I'm Russell. Your mom said I could, uh, play with you guys. Well, that doesn't really sound like my mom. Because my mom knows that we aren't accepting new members right now. We're sort of a gang. Maybe you've heard of us. Called the Cheetah. We're named after the ever so lovely Cheeto snack. And Cheetos are really fast and cool. I like Cheetos. So I was watching The Real Housewives of the Manson Family Cult the other day, and I found out that Charles Manson actually really loves the Beatles. Oh, oh my gosh, Brenda, that is so interesting. It's actually Brenda. Yeah. Right, Brenda. Brenda. Brenda? Brenda. Brenda. Okay. So. Rule number three, no eating crazy art brand coloring sticks. This gang is Crayola exclusive. Oh, um, and no using their markers either, right? Shut up, Russell. Yeah, Russell, you can't make a rule unless you're in the gang. And you're not in our group, so... That doesn't sound very fair. Life isn't fair, Russ. Yeah, I have scoliosis. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Rule number four, you have to know how to tie your shoes. Yep, no Velcro, we are above that. Ooh, and everyone's favorite wiggle has to be the purple one. And yes. Dragon Tail should play all day. And no breathing! And triangles have three sides! Oh, my carrots go in your nose! Um, and we can spin around on office spinny chairs, right? Shut up, Russell! So, I was talking to my Casey the other day, and I asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up, and he says he doesn't care what he does, as long as his female co-workers are paid equally. Isn't that cute? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, my Sally, she's rather an artistic type. Her work is very abstract, and she really works to represent the void that we all feel inside. Oh, oh beautiful. My Russell um, just won second place in uh, the school science fair on an experiment he did on moldy cheese. So. <coughs> uh, Melissa, we, we don't really like to brag here. Um, my pastor's sermon last Sunday was all about being humble. You know, you should really come along next Sunday. I think that uh, you and Russell could really use his guidance. Right. All right, all right, no more rules, no, none from anybody. The next person that makes a rule is out of the cheetahs. I mean it, guys. Wait, wouldn't that make me you're not in the cheetahs anymore? Yeah, I, I agree with the weird new kid. <laughs> guys, 
<laughs> I'm the leader of the cheetahs. Well, not anymore because you made a rule. But wouldn't that start after he made the rule? No, 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 no. He made a rule which, according to his own rule, means he's no longer in the cheetahs. He said it, not me. Well, well, why are we listening to this guy? I mean, he's not even on the cheetahs. <laughs> I guess, like, you did say you made a rule. Sally? I'm a woman of the law. You're out. And to Sally? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't see the point in raising Russell Vegan. Okay, so research shows that raising your kid on a vegan lifestyle actually makes them smarter, which I just think is something that your little Russell could use. I raised my Casey on only vegan options, and I just know he's going to be a leader one day. If you loved your son, he would be vegan. Okay, that is just ridiculous. I've seen your little Sally scarfing down the dino nuggets, okay? You do not have a leg to stand on, Brenda. <laughs> You know what? Fine. The parents are coming. Oh, but, but no, wait, 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 no, 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 stop it. I'm your king. Stop it. I want to keep ruling. No, we can't, Russell. All right, um, new rule. We kill our parents and I don't have to go home. Russell, I, I can't do that. I, I like my mom. And wait, you just made a rule. That means you're out of the club. Uh, even newer rule. No women. Hey! All right, Russell, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mom. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys have fun? What did you guys do down there? It's okay. We didn't really do much. No. Jeter's gonna know that you're stirring the grits in this house and he's gonna be all confused. 
and the producers, they're gonna keep you around for a few more episodes just to start drama, but you'll lose all your chances with Jada. Wait, but what if I tell on her and she doesn't tell on me? No, like what if I tell on her and she doesn't tell on me? Well, that never happens. Listen, if only one of you tells on the other one, Jeter's gonna keep whoever told around and then give the one she told on the boot and send her running home faster than Ezekiel's chariot on a blue Sunday. Oh my god, that would be horrible. I don't want to lose Jeter. Wow, I feel like such a prisoner. What a dilemma. <laughs> but wait, picture this. No one tells Jeter. Hmm? What happens then? Well, I'll tell you. If no one tells Jeter, then you all can stick around on this here show for a little longer, and you'll keep fighting for Jeter. Hmm. Well, I guess that really does seem like the best option. Oh my god, let's just be bestest friends and not tell on each other. Oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so proud of y'all for rising above temptation and choosing friendship. <laughs> they may have taken the cooperative approach, but they didn't account for Brittany being a snake. <laughs> Jeter, can I bend your ear? Hello, children. Who are you? I am Russian Devil. Rasputin? Russia's greatest love machine? Yes, so you heard of me. What are you doing out here in the forest of all places? Just waiting. Waiting for what? For two gullible peasants who would be, I mean, for two willing participants who would like to play a game. What does gullible mean? Ah, perfect children. Come, come, come. Behind this inconspicuous bootle of Onisuko. Okay. okay. So how do we play? It's very simple. First, I need eight rubles. I'm in very good mood. Only eight rubles to play. That's exactly how much we have in our life savings. Eight. <laughs> and how much does it cost to actually learn? That is included, as that. Anyway, here, right here, hold on. I need to get it. I have lovely money pot. We love a money pot. Yes, it's dollar dollar bills. Pot. Yes? yes. Sounds oh, easy okay. enough. So, all we must do is we must put two rubles in the pot to start. So then I will flip a coin, flip a coin, and then I will say head or tail. You guess correct, then the pot doubles. You guess correct again, the pot doubles again, again and again and again, at infinitum. Yes? Okay. So, if you guess wrong, the game is over and you get whatever is in the pot at that point. But that doesn't really seem like playing. The chances of us making it to the third round, which would be the first round where we made more money than we put in, is only one in eight. Yeah, that's a pretty small probability, so we would probably lose way more often than we would receive any kind of payoff. This really does seem like a trick, Rasputin. It's a shame how you go on. Oh, children, no, it's a very fun game. Come on, let's get head or tail, head or tail, come on, come on. Yes? No? Okay. I think I heard tail. Oh! It's head spot. You get two rubles. So much fun. So much fun. I certainly am not a willing participant of this game. Ivan! Anya! Ivan! Anya! Oh! Ivan! Anya! What are you two doing here, my sweet boy? What are you doing out in the forest with no parental supervision? Get away from that strange... Well, that's Rasputin. We, we were going to play a game with him. Hello, lovely lady. Would you like to play a game? Rasputin. It's called lots of lots of lots of money game. Ooh. Well, then, yeah, Rasputin, you say. Well, uh, the kind of women, uh, teacher of women would desire. Um, I've actually heard of that game before. Um, I learned about it in my eighth grade math class. Oh, very nice. You want to play? Do I ever. Mom, no, it's a waste of money. Oh, hush, there's a trick to the game, sweetheart. You see, the expected amount we can win is equal to the payoff times the probability of guessing correctly. So for example, <clears throat> in round one, you get two rubles times one half, which equals one. Um, so one half, heads or tails, you know, one half. 
Uh, isn't that right, Brass Yes, yes, beautiful lady, and then all of the dances adds up to infinity money. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> so, um, right, so as long as we're willing to continue to play, we're practically guaranteed to be millionaires. But, Mom, the probability of doing that well that many times just gets smaller and smaller. Yeah, the discrepancy between the theoretical and practical values of this game is a paradox. I'm gonna quit being a little bitch, okay? <laughs>
alone all day, and I was practically raised on this show, so when I heard they were doing a reboot, I was first in line! So, what show? The Monty Hall Show, of course. Oh, holy arithmetic, Batman. It is a simple problem. You see, there's a 33% chance that Rachel is behind the door that you picked, but there's a 66% chance that she's behind a door that you didn't pick. Robin, there are three doors. They're all equally probable. The only instinct I have is my bat gun. Don't ruin this for me. Jeepers, Batman, I would never. Here, I've laid it all out for you. There are three possibilities where Rachel could be. She could be behind door number one, door number two, the door you picked, or door number three, okay? Let's say she is behind door number two. You would switch and not get Rachel. Rachel! But, 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 I know, it's awful, but stay with me, okay? So let's say she is behind door number one, actually. Joker would have had to reveal Harvey Dent in the leftmost door, door number three. And you would switch and get Rachel. Likewise, if Rachel was behind door number three, Harvey Dent would have been revealed in door number one, and you would switch and get Rachel. Batman loves Rachel. I know, I know do. So it's always worth it to switch, because two out of the three times, you'll get Rachel. So, Batman, what will it be? Are you gonna switch? <laughs> you seem to really want me to switch. Which makes me think I should. Last time you convinced me to do something, someone died. I'm staying with the middle door. Very well. Batman, no. Let's see what you would have won. Help, Batman, I love you. Rachel! <laughs> You win! You're dead, Paris! No, <laughs> I told you not to switch, Batman! No, uh, no, Robin. Anyway, bye! Well, on the bright side, at least we can watch this show with Monty Hall tonight. I hear they're releasing the entire season. Not now, Robin. <laughs> There's an opposite of guy who loves girls on tonight. Holy bagoli, I forgot! He jumped the fence! <laughs> It's just, uh, oh, it's the cord. 
You know, I thought someone should probably check the cord before I do the jump. Oh, no, I checked it. It's fine. Quiet on set! What? We aren't even rolling. Shut up! You, make the jump. Now or never. Come on, man. Let's go. It's just <laughs> a little wee bit afraid of heights. Um, can't we just dress my boy Jimmy up and throw him off the edge? <laughs> oh, that's also rad. No, 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 no. This is a documentary program, okay? We have integrity here at Extreme Blum <laughs> Blum. I just, I don't think I can do it. I don't think it can go on. Well, like, if it's gotta be him and he's like too chicken to do it, no offense, bro, I love you. Um, why don't we just have him go like halfway, like several times? <laughs> you know, that just might be the thing. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I think I can do that. Um, hey, I'd like to voice a concern. If he only goes halfway every time- Please no! For the love of whatever God you do or do not believe in, shut your mouth! All right, thank you. Roll the tape. All right, I'm Sean Tuckershit, and today we're gonna jump off this really big cliff. All right, let's do it! Theater. Uh, there's a survey on the back, nine simple check boxes. Uh, we keep, keep hoping to make this grow more positively, and, and your advice is going to make that happen. Again, thanks so much for coming. If you have questions about the paradoxes of mathematics, 
Uh, check out our Facebook page, Math Connection Theater. We have links there uh, where you can learn all about these math paradoxes. Thanks again. Woo!